Man, I can't breathe in that thing. Anyway, happy Halloween, everybody. I hope you are having a fantastic day. Hey, this hair looks pretty good on me. But it's hot. Okay. Anyway, today's Revit tip is not about Halloween. Sorry, I had some great suggestions. Some friends said, made a suggestion that I make a like a jack-o'-lantern in Revit and show you guys how to do it. But I apologize to my amazing friends. I didn't get around to that. I was just too, <laughs> I was too busy to make jack-o'-lanterns. I'm sorry. All right. But today's Revit tip is actually about something that people have been asking me about. We have dealt with recently contours, real contours. And how do you deal with contours and the real topo underneath your building? Ooh, this is crazy. I'll show you an example of how to deal with contours. And in further future videos, we will go into more detail, but I'm not gonna make a big series on site topo, but periodically I'll hit on some stuff that is really important to understand about topo, okay? So let me get right to it and uh, let me get Revit up and running here for us. I'll move my face over here and then I'll open Revit. Okay, that's more like it. Okay, so let's start with going to our little 3D building here. Our little building that we've got, the cutest little building in the world, here it is. Okay, one thing I wanna show you guys about Topo, first thing, is this little sidewalk out here on the ground is not, it, it is a, it's a shape that's drawn on the ground, okay? It is not really a sidewalk. If you look in the side view here, you'll see it's not cutting down into the soil at all. In fact, it's just sitting on top. In Revit, what you can do in, if you have a topo surface, you can go to your massing tools and draw right here, split the surface or make a subregion. It's amazing. I'm gonna make a quick subregion. Look at this, subregion. And it says, and I'm gonna make a subregion over here. I'll just draw a little square on the ground. Look, there's a subregion, it's all it is. And that region right there can be painted or told to be any other material. Like I told it to be a sidewalk. I could click on it and then under the material over here under properties, you could click on that and I'll just make it, I don't, I don't know yet. I'm gonna make it dirt. Okay, let me see if I had dirt, dirt. Oh, I don't have any dirt. Hey, look at that, site earth. Okay, earth, site earth. I'll just say, make it earth and say, okay, and look, Ladies and gentlemen, there's art. So you can put these shapes, which are subregions, right on your surface of your topo. But the problem is they're only surface generated. I'm gonna to go to the plan view, cut a section right through where we know that thing is, right here. And I'll, I, I like looking the other direction, that way. Okay, let me just go to that section, look. See, the, so the soil is right here, and there's really not a toe. There's not a, you can't see the, the sidewalk there. And we know the sidewalk's drawn on there, but it's not really. So these um, boundaries, which are nothing more than subregions, you can delete them. Look, if I delete that thing, bing, goes back to soil. So what I wanna do right here in front of the building is put a, um, I'm going to put a, I'm going to go to my site plan and I am going to write, there's, there's that dirt and right here in front of the building, I'm going to put a sidewalk, but what you should be using for sidewalks, people are building pads. Watch, there's a building pad and not, um, I'll show you why building pads displace the soil. Okay. So I'm just going to put a rectangular building pad in here. And if I go to my, um, uh, I'm just gonna put it in here. Mm -hmm. Building pad sticking out like that, bam. And I'm gonna go to my first floor to make sure that the building pad's up against the building. 
go up to the building. Bam. Okay. So now I've got a continue. Oh, um, <clears throat> your um, objects can't extend off your topo surface. So I'm going to stop a little bit short. Okay. Finish. So I've got a building pad there. Now let's go look in 3D what that thing is doing. Okay. That building pad is building up six inches from, um, well, let's, let's go to my section. <laughs> Where's my section? There it is. See that the building pad is sitting right there in our section at zero inches from, from the first floor. If I highlight it and I say, you know what? Let's say I want it two feet up. It lifts the dirt up underneath it. You see that? The, the soil moves and connects to the bottom of a building pad. In fact, if I said minus two feet, it's gonna push the soil down. And so you go to your 3D view and look, wonk, it's pushing the soil down. So what you do is you put this pad where you want sloping, and then you have to deal with the soil around it to make the contours a little bit uh, to, to work with it. So here we go. I'm gonna make that thing back to zero. So it's flat. But what if I wanted to slope it away from my building? Okay, so I'm gonna edit boundary. I can put a slope arrow on the pad. I'll go slope arrow, okay? I'm gonna put an arrow from this edge over to this edge of the pad. Whoops, slope arrow. I can, you can put it anywhere on the pad, but just point one end to the other. Now, if I pick the arrow, I can tell it, you guys have sloped um, floors and sloped roofs. It's the same thing. This is just a slope arrow. So I'm gonna say, uh, that I wanted to um, slope away maybe two feet down. So at the height at the tail, which is the tail end of the arrow, the default, I'm going to have it at zero default, which is whatever height I've actually placed the floor, like at zero from the first floor. That's where default is. I'm going to say zero inches. But at the head end from the default, I'm going to slope down a foot. Let's see what happens in that distance is going down a foot. It's going to be quite tragic. Okay. So I check the box and bam, see, look at that. Zoo, it's sloping right into the ground. That's beautiful. You got to love this kind of stuff. Okay. So I am going to go to my section and look at it. Look at that sloping down. You could slope it at one inch per foot, two inch per foot. You can slope it however you want. Okay. And you can tell it the exact dimension, but what we need to deal with right now is the topo the dirt next to ours let's let's say that we want the dirt to come right up to it and stay maybe two inches below the edge so that it flows down and doesn't come up like here in our 3d look it's coming up above here and it's clearly down below over there so like how do you deal with that oh dear i don't know okay let's go back to our site plan or actually first floor plan let's just take a look at this well, I don't have, I need to, I need to turn on the topo in my plan, <laughs> go to my model stuff. And here is the topography turned off in my plan. So I'm gonna turn it back on so we can see it. Okay. There it is. Okay. So this is our, this is our little um, piece of dirt that we put on there. And this is the actual pad right here. This is the quick way to check your stuff. Go to annotate to check the height, put a spot elevation. So I've got a spot. I want to put a spot elevation on that, dude. All right. I want to place a, um, I didn't, so apparently my pads are off too. This is just dirt. Oh, dear. You know, it's hard to find good help around here. Mm -hmm. Go down to site stuff. Mm -hmm. Site stuff. And turn, oh, my pads are on. Oh, no. What am I going to do if they're already on? Oh, no. Okay. All right, all right, gosh. So what I wanna do, I'm gonna to go to my um, site here. And and down here, I just wanna come down here and show you guys. I can see the pads sitting right on there, okay? And here's my building. Um, what I wanna do is come down here and I'm gonna put a spot elevation. The spot elevation right up at this corner, tippy corner, okay, is one, look at that, it's already gotten a little bit off. It's going down half an inch. And way down here at the bottom, it's it's sloping down. And at the tippy end, yes, look, at the tippy end, it's at minus one foot. 
nice okay and at the very top it's exactly at zero okay it's at it's it's right at the tip it's at zero so if i want to control my site i click on the site and i say edit surface and i can place points okay so i place a point i would like to place a point right here two inches lower than the minus one half okay so right there so what i'm going to do is set this at minus 2.5 inches and i'm going to place it right there's a nice little spot and a nice little spot right there okay and at the other end we're at minus 11 right off of the edge and right at the corner it's minus a foot we've got some spot elevations that tell us that so i can place points along this path or right here at the end i'm going to change this to minus one foot two see so it's two inches down and i place that point right here and right here right past the end of there and i'm checking that um okay so i've got minus right there and minus right there got this going on over here at the corner, I can highlight it, and it's down a foot over there, and so it's going to dip down over here, whatever, and way over here, it's at zero elevation, way over here. So this is going to dip down and come back up. I just know that's how it works. Okay, so let's check this box, and then we go to 3D and check what we've done. Look at that. The dirt has lifted up. So it's exactly two inches below up here at the pad. And at the other end, it's maintaining the two inch on the two sides of this thing. You guys see that? So you can put in your sidewalks, slope them how you need to, and then control the topo surface by placing, well, you check your dimensions, check your spot elevations along your path so that you know exactly to be a two inch or one inch lower on the edges. It's, it's fairly easy. You just check your, um, check your surface with the um, spot elevations so that you know to place a point in your topo that is a couple inches lower than that so that it tucks down on the edge could you make it flush sure but i like setting it a little bit lower so that it uh, it works there all righty though um i hope that helps with some topo i want you guys to work with topo put real topo under your buildings and not just use cad underlays put some real topo in there and if you need help just ask for more direction in the uh, comments section below. Or you can also go to my website and just email me and uh, I may be able to uh, help you out. We'll, we'll work it out. All right. All right. I hope you guys have a great day. Happy Halloween and uh, stay out of trouble. And um, I'll talk to you later. Happy reveting. Talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye.